Hello, I'm Rosie. Today I'm going to do a book review of A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This book is set in a world made up of parallel universes, each with varying states of magic. One world, Grey London, has no such magic, and that's next to Red London, which has a fair amount of magic, and then there's White London, which is a bit more chaotic, and then there's Black London, which has just been lost through the generations and it's been shut away, never to be seen or spoken of again. In this world there's a group of people who can travel between these different Londons and the main character Kel is one of these. He travels between the worlds as a kind of messenger for the rulers of each London but he also has a smuggling business on the side. The main plot of this book is that a piece of black London has escaped and Kel makes it his mission to return this piece back to where it came from and save the day basically. On his journey throughout the book he bumps into Delilah from Grey London who aspires to be a pirate and travel the world. She's called Delilah throughout the book. I really love this book, it was just amazing. The main characters complement each other so well. Kel is there for power and knowledge whereas Leela is the passion and the personality of the duo and they just work together really well and I enjoy reading about each of them and it's such a good friendship too. There isn't any romantic overtones or anything like that, they are just friends which I really enjoyed seeing because it's quite rare to find books where the main male and female characters don't have a romantic relationship so it was really refreshing to see that and the magic in here was scary and really well done. Like It had a mind of its own and its own rules and I just really felt like I could believe it and understand the threat that these characters were facing. While magic is part of the threat, the villains of the story are equally as scary. They're crazy and sadistic and you just can't help but love them for that. I kind of wish I'd got more of a background on all the other characters because you get read a lot about Kel and Lila, but their relationships with the other people isn't that explored that much. Like I really would have liked to see a bit more background with Kel and his adoptive family, because I think that relationship would have just been really interesting to read, especially since they're the rulers of Red London. It is quite slow at the beginning, and it's not a quick read. It's one you've got to progress through at a reasonable rate and I did have a bit of trouble getting into it to start with but oh like it was brilliant after that. The pacing picked up and once you got really into the story I was just blown away. It was fabulous and I can't recommend this book enough. Despite the fact we don't get much background of the characters and it is slow to start with, I think that's more the setting up of the series. Like we'll, we'll find out more in the next book, a bit more about the history and the backgrounds and more of the magic and the threat. The book rounded up the main plot points nicely but it did leave it open to the sequel. While it can be read as a standalone it will also work well as the first book in a series which is which is really good because I'll be reading it and I really love the cover. Like this cover is absolutely stunning. I've seen the other cover for it and I didn't quite like that one as much which is why I went for this one. But this one's really cool and I think it highlights the tone of the book quite well and the varying shades of London. I really enjoyed this book, as you probably gathered from my ramblings. There were a few minor issues. I'm pretty sure if Lila hadn't been part of the book I wouldn't have enjoyed it as much because I didn't really connect to Kel as well as I did to her, but I think that may have just been a personal preference for the types of characters. And it's made up of sections so you can have a breather if you want to because the plot does get quite intense at times and I was just hooked throughout. It was a real struggle to put down and I'm really glad I picked it up. It definitely deserves the hype it got because I remember this book was massively hyped when it first came out. I haven't read this author before but I'm definitely going to be reading more of hers because she can write really well and if this book's anything to go by the rest of her books are bound to be magnificent as well. So I would definitely recommend reading this if you haven't already and I gave it a 4 out of 5 mostly because of the kind of teething issues with the slow star and the trouble getting into the other characters outside of Kel and Lula. It was just a brilliant book. That's it from me for this review. I'm now finished with exams and university so I'm hoping to have a lot more videos uploaded hopefully every other day. 
though it may depending on how things are how busy my life is at that time um, they may be twice a week but I'm hoping to keep it up for more than once a week there'll be more book reviews there'll be more TBR jar challenges tag videos hopefully as well as some more book related videos from readathons and all that so you've got all that to look forward to and I will see you next time. Goodbye!